They do not get along. Grilling. Isn't real. If you know what you have, you don't have much. And once you reach a certain level of money, you don't even know what you have. And you certainly don't own what you have. Outside entities, which you may have a stake in, own what you have. Oh People who have a lot of money understand. It's very difficult for me. Oh, I don't think I'm too fried for this shit right here. He gonna blow my shit probably. Yeah, yeah, he about to, he about to, uh, let's see how this shit goes. say go. how much money I have, but I can have anything I want, anytime I want. Well done. Hi, I'm Shine Reynolds, and I'm still on the lookout. Shine, well done. No, I love her. Nah, I just did a five, six hour stream, y'all. This ain't no good morning to me, nigga. I been up. I was on stream. I just ended it and started over. I ain't gonna wait two minutes. Been two minutes. L listen, follow the kick, y'all. Fuck is y'all niggas doing on YouTube? Follow the kick. We lit. I was just live five hours, nigga. Don't play with me. Six hours or some shit. We gotta finish that snap composure shit today. I've had some good dates. I'm liking my views, like, do you know what I'm saying? It's all good right oh, now. Ah, charmer, isn't ya? And I've had some bad dates. How do you think you've done on the date? I don't really give a shit. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Where are all the decent men? <laughs> not in my love. DMs, that's for sure. You get me? I feel like I'm rolling with the man. Then what's going on? Bye, fives. It seems like a lot of men don't know how to treat a lady. I'll just manhandle everything. What, little oh, man? And then that, like, Jeez. Will I have better luck this season? What would you do if my ex was after you? He can have you. Let's he can find have you, gangster. This is grilling. I'm Randy Tate the third. I'm here because. Uh, I was invited, is that a good answer? That's fine. Yeah, I was invited. So I thought I'd come along, why not? There's already love in the universe, I've already found love. I found love with reality, my friend. I'm already in love, I'm in love with waking up every day. You know, there's people who are trying to stop me breathing and they've yet to succeed. I'm already in love, love life's great. I used to think that it was the man- so, so I'm in love with reality. He just said some real shit though. See, I'll fuck about son Andrew Tate because he said the really shit. He be saying the really shit though. And and I was actually accurate, thinking that it was the man who was selling himself to the woman. But once you reach a certain level of achievement as a, as a man, it's the woman who's trying to sell herself to you. I've handled a bunch of, of difficult situations in my life. I'm, I'm not intimidated. Let's leave it at that. We'll see how it goes. I would say I'm pretty confident, yeah, overall. Yeah, I think uh, confidence is born from adversity, right? Everything that doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Facts. Can try and ask you whatever she likes? Anything she likes, find the most difficult question on the planet, tell her to throw her question card away, write a new one. I'm ready. I better be good. I better struggle, which is obviously impossible. So she should always try to make me struggle. I spent my life fighting in the cage. I'm not, I'm not scared of her. I think relationships are a beautiful thing. I think that the synergy between men and women are a beautiful thing if they are correctly collaborated. I think that that's what makes society function. I think that's what makes the world function. I think that men and, men and women falling in love and having children and having families are very, very beautiful things as long as it's done correctly, as long as the woman obeys like she's supposed to. And uh, like I think the world understood. can be a beautiful place as long as gender roles are not misconstrued and misunderstood. Hello. So if Sean doesn't understand that, I'll correct her quickly and we'll fix the world and we can move on. Hello. Top G. Top G. Very nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. That's really nice. Thank you. Let's Top two, G. Two, two kisses. One. Yeah, oh, two nice kisses. To Top nice G. Andrew Tate, what's your name? Andrew, nice to meet you. Um, Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Or Cheyenne Reynolds, if you're doing this whole Cheyenne Reynolds, we're yeah. going to do official. Yeah. Okay, nice Reynolds. to meet you. Cheers. I think she's an uh, attractive woman. She's good looking. Friendly demeanor. Um, I can tell she thinks she knows things, so I look forward to correcting her. I look forward to correcting her. Finally, see? A man that makes an effort. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah? Oh, okay, where are you from? I'm American, but I lived in England for a long time. I lived in a very prestigious part of the UK. I don't know if you've ever heard of Luton. Very prestigious. prestigious yeah. yeah, yeah, number one. Luton, okay. Was not expecting that. So I was in Luton for a while, and now I live in Europe, so I've oh, just wow. come in, yeah. Okay, because your accent, it's like really different, isn't it? It's pretty mixed up. I'm like a street dog, my dear. I've been here, I've been there. So I'm like a half street American, dog. Half English, half Luton, half everything else. A bit so. of a mix. A bit of a mix. That's cool. So how did you get here today? Uh, I flew in. I flew in this morning. Yeah. Flew in. It's different. It's like different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump okay. on the jet. Jump on the jet. jet. Who is this guy? What about you? Well, she you doesn't know who stuff? he is? Yeah. Uh, my family, we're carrying... Wait, wait, wait. This is going to be funny. She doesn't know who he is at all? 
I still know Andrew Tate. BB. Who's died? What about you? You have a mix, no? Yeah, uh, my family, we're Caribbean and English. So the Caribbean side's the, the crazy side? Or, no. the or the English side's the crazy side? Um, I'd say the Caribbean's the fun side. The fun yeah, a bit side? So you're fun and crazy? Not crazy. I mean, it's the beginning of the day, you can't lie. Do I look like I'd lie to you? Yes. <laughs> I'm not a liar, actually. I'm You're not a liar. Not. Everything you tell me for the rest of this episode is going to be a complete truth. Yeah. Promise me. Yeah. Say I promise. I promise. No, I really promise. We'll see. All honest thoughts and opinions. We'll see. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Um, so what do you do? Let me think of a lie. Give me a second. No, you can't lie. You, you have to tell the truth. I don't have to tell the truth. Why? This, we already agreed you're telling the truth. There's only one of us can tell the truth. One of us can lie. That's not a good stuff. I'm a shoe salesman. I sell shoes, socks, shoe accessories, polish, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah? Yeah, I sell shoes. Yeah. You good at it? I'm doing all right. Yeah? I'm surviving. Sold two pairs of shoes yesterday. Life's good. OK, that's good. <laughs> He's a liar. So tell me a bit about you, Andrew. I'm not comfortable opening up too much. Oh, really? Yeah, because you know you might work for John Law and the government. No. I have to be careful what I say. Oh, so, so it's not commitment issues? It's not, no, it's not commitment issues. It's sure? more just like legality issues. Oh, okay. I like to go to church, I'm a man of God, play Scrabble. Do you have faith? Okay, this is good. This is an interesting conversation that we can have on, yeah. on camera, which is... which is. I'd say, I'd say my personal journey with God is between me and God. So I'm not one of those people that like, is like, yes, I go to church or yes, I do this. Um, Don't you think that's a bit like lazy Christianity? No, not really, because for me, I believe in love and I believe in faith and I don't think it's just one religion that you need to follow. You know, I've got friends that are Muslim. I agree. I've got friends that are Christian. You know, I've got friends that are spiritual, so I don't put myself in one category. I understand and I respect that completely, but don't you think out of respect for God himself, whether you're in Dubai and you go to the mosque or you're in England and you go to the church, you should get up early on a Sunday, despite all the booze, and get up and take an hour out of your life and just show some respect? Don't no, you agree? because everyone's journey is with God is personal. You can be a lazy spiritualist, a lazy Christian, you can be a lazy kickboxer, right? I'm a kickboxer, but I don't train. Okay, bro. I understand. You're lazy. It's okay. I'm not lazy. Do you have time for God? Absolutely. That's good. Do you get up early on a Sunday? Completely. That's good. Every single Sunday. Of course. That's amazing. And I think that being religious is it's a Sunday thing. right now. I think that a lot of people try and say they're spiritual or they're religious in a way, copping out on the one hour a week, it just feels a bit lazy to me. I think you can always find an hour a week. Yeah, no, you definitely could. So maybe God sent me here to make you go to church. Maybe, maybe you're here to enlighten me. Maybe that's why, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, what kind of man are you? What's the spectrum? I need you to quantify it for me. Who's at the bottom and who's at the top? For me, I'd just say top like a high value man. What would you say constitutes a high value man? A high value man is someone that is successful okay. financially. Okay. I'd say it's someone that's got a lot of integrity and okay. good morals, yeah. that is very well respected, yeah. is very sure of himself, but also is a very family orientated man. That's from me, a high value man. Okay, it's fine. I'm a high value man. So he's very sure of himself. <laughs> yeah, so what's a high value man for you? Pretty much basically what you said. I think a high value man is a capable man. I think capability can be judged in many different ways, mm -hmm. and capability is something which varies depending on the situation. You need a man who is capable of doing lots of different things that he doesn't do very often. You need a man who's capable of being violent when the time appears, mm -hmm. of course. You need a man who's capable of making money. You need a man who can kill somebody and hold a baby in the same day. You need a man with a very broad spectrum of he said, kills a qualities and assets in the same and day. And this is actually what the most difficult thing about being a man is. Most people, when I say most people, let me change that. Most females don't respect how difficult it is to become a high value man. Because to become a high value man, you need to have so many different qualities and so many different capabilities is a very difficult thing to do. You need to be funny and smart and charismatic and interesting with stories and, and strong and, and rich with a nice car and a nice apartment. Whereas to be a high value female, you need to be hot. If you're nice, it's a bonus, but it's not even that necessary. That's it. If you're a pretty female, even if you're a piece of shit person, you're gonna get messages on Instagram. Yeah. Whereas if you're a good Talk to Taste me the facts. If you're a piece of shit person, you're going to get messages on Instagram. Yeah. Facts. Whereas if you're a good looking man who lives with his mother, you ain't getting any messages. And Not really. I, I think so. I think that if you're a good looking man, that's all you have going for you. I don't think you're going to succeed very well in life. I know there's very, very pretty girls who have nothing else going for them that manage to do very, very well. Yeah. Do you play chess? 
I'm okay at it. But if you look at the chessboard, right, the queen gets to jump all over the board, and the king has to move one square at a time, and I think that's done very purposefully. If you go to Monaco and you see a yacht, and you see a man on that yacht, he had to work his entire life, and network his entire life, and get up early and deal with stress, <sighs> and tax shit. problems, and police problems, and work his ass Real off to shit. buy that boat. What did the girl have to do? The girl who's on that boat, the 19-year-old Ukrainian. She had to get a message on Instagram. Boom. So the man moves one square at a time and the queen just jumps on board. This is the point. Female beauty is extremely valuable. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, bro. I don't think she ready for Andrew. Yeah, I don't think she ready for Andrew, gang. Oh my mama, I don't think she ready for this nigga. Yeah, he talking that shit. <laughs> he talking that shit. Yeah, well, uh, you just gotta be a pretty bitch to get on the yacht. A nigga got a grind. Who's kick one square at a time and the queen just jumps on board. This is the point. Female beauty is extremely valuable. The thing is, there's a difference between a high value man and a high value woman. For me, a high value woman is what kind of mother is she? What kind of like compassion has she got? You know, right. has she got integrity? Has right. she got morals? Is she loyal? I like agree. all these other qualities. But I feel like men base it on like just an aesthetic. Well, she level. talking. She's saying. I agree with you. If I meet a female, I would like her to be all those things, especially loyal. It's the most important thing for a female to be. Are you but loyal? Mr. Loyal, man of God, we already talked about church. But, but the point is that to initially attract a mate, females, the most important thing for them is their looks. Whereas a man, I think, is his status. And status is a far more varied spectrum than looks alone. Being good looking alone does not make you a high status male. To be a high status male, you need to have a bunch of things. Initially, if you're just pretty, you're gonna get so attention. Too. Whereas a man, you need to have a bunch of things to just get attention. Do you understand? Do you agree with my point? Mm, not always. Listen, there's men that are funny, that aren't that attractive, that can get attention. It's like an energy thing. I disagree. You disagree? I disagree. I know, I know what you're saying, they can get attention, but I don't think anyone would look at a funny guy who lives with his mom and call him a high value male. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you get a really, really beautiful girl, even if she has nothing else going for her, she'd be considered high value. I wouldn't I, say high value, no. Yeah, we can disagree. That's fine. Are you a good partner? The best. The best? What makes you the best? Besides you and the police, I don't often answer questions. Okay. He's <laughs> definitely had a police interview in the past. I don't like to answer open-ended questions because I feel like they're a trap. Why? Because when you speak a lot, it's how you end up getting trapped, right? It doesn't matter if it's a police interview or anything else. The more you talk, the worse. So I want you to be very, very specific with your parameters within the questioning because that allows me to answer them in a way which makes me look the best. I don't know, I feel like a, a very confident man that was very sure of himself would just answer. Do you think so? Mm -hmm. If, if I feel like you're just being calculated. Okay, a very innocent man, would he just answer the police? Yeah. If he's innocent. <laughs> then you've never dealt with the police, my dear. That's not how it works. No? No, of course not. But that, he's that innocent. It doesn't mean anything. Innocent and guilty in and of itself is a false paradigm. You, you mm -hmm. have to understand that the world we live in, there is no black and white. There is, there's no such thing. It's all a sliding scale. If they want to find you guilty, they'll find you guilty. I guarantee you sold something to a, a mate on eBay seven years ago and didn't pay tax. Boom, you're going to jail. I'm enjoying this conversation and I understand every point she's making and I'm being deliberately abrasive. However, the truth is about the masculine and feminine dynamic is that females like men who are completely in charge and run their life exactly how they want and they comply and bend to the man's wills and lifestyle. To, to come along to a woman and say, how do you want me to be so that you like me is, is, a, death, is a death sentence for the relationship. So that's how it works. What kind of man do you want to be? I want to be a man who lives true to himself and a man who goes to sleep easy at night and a man who knows that he's living true to his biological necessities and, and instincts and tries his best not to hurt anybody and leaves a positive impact on the world. Are your actions congruent with your words? Yeah. What else would they be? I don't know. I don't know you. So that's why you I'm don't know? To get to know you. Uh, yeah, we're here to know each other. Of course yeah. they are. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a positive man. I'm a positively inspirational and motivating person. Okay, what do you do that's motivating? I inspire people to tell the truth, I think. Okay. And I think a lot of men live in a world now today where they have to lie. You think? In fact, I would basically guarantee that 99% of men are lying at least 80% of the time. Really? Damn. That's a bit bold. I, I think it's true because I think that... So men are liars? Men are liars. Women are correct. Men are liars. Women wear makeup because men fall in love with what they see. And men lie because women fall in love with... With their hair. Yeah. Oh my God, he dropped a game on her. He dropping game on her. Men fall in love with what they see. Women fall in love with what they hear. Nah, he's, yeah, he's, nah, he's spitting, pause. 
Men are liars because men are in constant company. Because men are liars. Women wear makeup because men fall in love with what they see. And men lie because women fall in love with what they hear. Men are liars because men are in constant competition with other men. And they have to find a way to be competitive. And the easiest way to be competitive is to lie. If you can sit there and convince a woman that you're rich because you bought her a hundred dollar or a hundred pound meal, that's what you're going to do. It's a lot easier than becoming rich. And women believe it. And as long as women are stupid enough to believe it, men are dishonest enough to lie. For me personally, I'm the type of woman that it's actions as in words. I don't get like phased by... Actions can be a lie. You think flowers can't be a lie? <laughs> you think flowers, 25 pounds on a phone call to some dickhead delivery dude can't be a lie? No, but there's some like good men that wouldn't, it wouldn't even enter the head that that's a lie. So I feel like everything you're doing is just very calculated. Life is calculated. All it's men not, lie. It's, it's really not. Men lie life because, yeah, life, life at the upper echelons, at the highest echelons of life is absolutely and utterly calculated. Every single man at the top echelon of life is a calculated man. You don't get there by accident. Okay, so do you want to get to the top? I'm already at the top echelon of man. And when you're at the <laughs> top echelon of man, I'm already at the top. It's a very, very calculated process. You don't get there by accident. Nothing good in life happens on accident. When you say men don't lie because you believe in actions, I'm saying a lot of actions are lies. Am I high value women in your eyes? You're very good looking. So I would say, uh, yeah, absolutely. You're beautiful. You seem like you're a good person. You seem intelligent. You're not stupid. So I'd say you're a high value woman. But your actions dictate that, right? The most important actions a woman can undertake is loyalty. Every man out here knows that disloyalty is the most disgusting thing a female could ever do to her man. But are you loyal? Let's not pretend that male loyalty and female loyalty are the same thing. But loyalty is loyalty. No, but they're not the same thing, are they? Why is it not? Because men and women are not the same. We are not the same. You are correct there. Okay, so we agree. No, but I'm not agreeing to people being dishonest, cheaters, liars. He's deluded. Why do you think men and women are different? We carry children. Correct. You know, we nurture, we're, you know, compassionate, emotional beings. Yep. Men are very different. I agree. However, I don't think it's very fair for men to sit with the opinion that it's acceptable for men to cheat. I didn't even say that, but I think if we, as intelligent, logical beings, as you are and as I am, if we agree that men and women are not the same, then our paradigms on how we act, enact in certain regards cannot be seen as the same. So, right? if, but, so if I'm with you Please, talk that shit. and I then cheat. That's disgusting. I can't believe you even said that on, on YouTube. You see, you just said that on YouTube. I'm sorry to the world. Please don't listen. They just said I'm disgusted. Happens. No, it, do, no, yeah, it doesn't it does. happen. No, People no, no, cheat. no. Please don't say this on YouTube. You're going to corrupt the youth. I'm sorry for her. I'll pray for her. These things can't be said. Women can't do that. Just... Women can't do that. So it's a double standard. It's a double standard. But life is full of double standards. Yeah, but it doesn't mean any, like, listen, regardless of your philosophies and everything that you keep. It's not my philosophy. No, but I'm saying, okay, life is full of double standards. Correct. I understand that. But in a relationship, Correct. it's a partnership. Yes. Right. You and me, we're together. Since when? You know what I'm saying. When you're, when you're trying to build a partnership and a life with someone, yeah. the end goal is you two together. Agreed. So why cheat? I know, I understand where you're coming from. My point is that relationships and life is full of double standards as a whole. A man's going to pay for everything everywhere you go, right? This is, this is duty as a man. Do you agree? No, I do like traditional. Okay, so you agree. So you're traditional, right? So if you want to talk about traditional, let's talk about tradition. Every single man since the dawn of human time had more than one woman. Every single king, every single emperor, every single sultan, every single conqueror since the dawn of human time had more than one woman. All of them. Every single one. Read a history book. Read the Bible. It's all in there. The Quran. All of it. You want to talk about tradition, it's all there. The only reason your mind is different, the only reason you believe differently is because of society. Society has come along and told you something. Yeah, but society, we can change. Like, the world evolves, things change. The world evolves. Yeah, that's right. Now, now, now men can't cut their dicks off and their chicks. You believe in this shit? You, got the pain? you believe in any of this crap? It's all <laughs> Like, life's it, about choices. Life is about choices. Yeah, my son just went crazy. Yeah, this nigga just went crazy. He just went crazy. You got the change. The world evolves. Yeah, that's right. Now, 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 men can't cut their dicks off in their chicks. You believe in this shit? You got you the believe in this you shit? Believe in this crap? It's all a lie. I feel like life's the, about choices. Life is about choices. Correct. My point is this: if I had a woman, I would decide not to cheat because I decide. However, I would not see my infidelity as nearly anywhere near even 1% as disgusting as female infidelity because female infidelity dis involves emotion. Yep. You will not yep. see a man you don't like. I can sleep with a woman I don't like. Facts! I can be head over heels in love with a woman, ready to die for her, ready to take a bullet for her, protect her, give her all the money in the world, make sure she has a beautiful family, a nice big house, all of it. And I'll still f*** that bitch. Watch me. A woman won't do that. So don't lie to me and pretend. No, you won't. Any woman who will sit here and say, I can f*** 
attitudes and not care about them is fundamentally broken. Her soul is broken. Okay, well, she's broken then, but she's still doing it. Well, if she's broken, she ain't anywhere near me. I don't want no broken bitch near me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want no broken bitch near me. I will not associate with. Females shouldn't even want to cheat. And the reason women can't cheat is because there's no way to ensure paternity of a female's cheating. Modern science in and of itself, just because you can now find out who the dad is, doesn't undo 5,000 years of human evolution in which a female had to be loyal to one man so we knew exactly who the father was. If a man has multiple partners, you know who the mother is, you know who the father is. If a woman has multiple partners, nobody knows who the dad is, nobody wants to look after the kid, and a woman with a child without a father or without a man around in the ancient world was toast. He talks a lot of nothing. I would never ever be with a girl who cheats on me, and I would never but ever. You can't. You can't. You can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Cheat. Yes, I no, can. No, you can't. Of course, I can. No, you can't. Like, because the thing is, with like, this is just an assumption. I'm assuming, you know, you have a nice this life. Is haram. No, it's but haram. I'm saying you have a nice life. It's you live haram. a good lifestyle. Women will just see you as an opportunity. If I was, a, if I was a dumbass, yeah, correct. Yeah, but this one said, but your attitude is what keeps a woman also. Like, do you think a high-value woman is going to sit there and tolerate a man condescending and talking to her and being like, we're different and we're this, we're that, because we're not. A woman, you... knows her, a woman that knows her worth is not going to tolerate that. As professionals, we discussed the infidelity of females. And I said that female infidelity is more disgusting than male infidelity. And I think that the world agrees with me. History agrees with me. The Bible agrees with me. The Quran so agrees, agrees with me. Every you. single book you can read from history says that females who are promiscuous should either be stoned to death or at least cast out from society. Female promiscuity is a brand new concept. This is brand new amongst society. The idea that women can sleep with a bunch of dudes and it doesn't matter is a brand new idea. 30, 40 years old, maybe. Even today, nobody respects it, deep down. When a girl shoots a girl she doesn't like, you know the first thing she does? She says she's a You know why? Because they know deep down that female promiscuity is disgusting, it's revolting. So the whole idea of a female wanting to sleep with more than one man at a time is haram. And they know inside of their souls, inside of their hearts. I don't think so. As, yes, they do. As does a man. No. Whereas a man, if he sleeps with a bunch of chicks, doesn't matter. Who cares? So would you be with me if I had slept with over 50 men? I don't know. He would dub that. Oh, Rob. But I'm a high-value woman, right? <laughs> you said it yourself. How can you be high-value if 50 men have slept with you? 50 willies. I've been single for a long time. Oh, unacceptable. Why is it unacceptable? Our body count is probably the number one most easiest way to judge the value of a female. I actually think okay. that 90, no, 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 no. I'm going to say this. I think 99% of the world's problems, and no one's going to understand this, but if you can extrapolate, if you can listen to this statement and extrapolate it out towards society at large, I think 99% of the world's problems will be solved if females walked through life with their body count on their forehead. <laughs> Because it would prevent, because it would prevent all of the yeah, disintegration crazy. of morals. It would prevent so many things about the world. But you know what? There's like, a and lot women would be like, to be with me as a man, I don't want to put another number on my forehead. You have to be a good man. They wouldn't stop being idiots and stop being idiots, and all the idiocy would disappear. What? That's facts, though. If they put that shit on their forehead. Poor bitch forehead, how much body she got, nigga. Every time you see that bitch, that shit up. You be like, this bitch fucking. That shit was 33 the other day. That shit 39 now. <laughs> that bitch fucked six niggas last week. Hold on. They used to be a good man. They would stop, you spend, being idiots and stop being idiots. And all the idiocy would disappear. All the degeneracy would disappear. Families would return. Virgins meeting their first man, staying with him her whole life and being proud of it. Couldn't we go back to such a beautiful age? All we have to do is start putting numbers on girls' foreheads. We could fix everything. That attitude is disgusting. It's not about women's body count. That would not like minimize any problems. Men like you are the problem, Andrew. Women, I myself am one of them. I'm sick of men that have this really disgusting outlook on women policing women's bodies. Listen, if I want to sleep with this many people, I can and I will. Yeah, but what you're not getting is there's this whole oh, toxic independent movement of women, right? We are doing things. Hush it, ha. Now it's our twist, but it's kind of like by force in the sense of... Hush it like fucking, so hush it like 70. Because we're literally exhausted with men on their power trip, on their this. So it's like, oh, if you can do it, we can do it. But this is what I said, but you... I'm trying to be 71, nigga. Fuck you talking about? I'm trying to be, I'm trying to get in there. On photo grade, where she at? Where she at? On oh, my mama. Follow the kick. We live. We live. Both book live. Squeeze reacts. Follow the motherfucking kick. 
<laughs> you men that think the way you think have created that. I understand your point. However, you're wrong. Uh, she thinks I'm arrogant. I'm being arrogant on purpose. I must admit, annoying her is, is kind of fun. <laughs> I think that, uh, you know what? I'm being so nice. I'm being so nice to you. I say I think instead of I know. This is him being nice. The answer is I know. I know. Females who sleep with lots of men, first things first, I don't think that women naturally, intrinsically want to do that. I think that's societal programming. Yeah. I think that women... No, but I, I agree. This is what I'm saying to you. Like, there's yeah. things that you're saying, like, I don't disagree with certain things you're saying, but going back to my point, it's like by force. Like, I, it's to prove a point. It's like this power struggle. Like, I personally don't want to sit and sleep with loads of men. I don't care. Like, Good. I don't We're getting sleep. somewhere. You see, God, Jesus, I'm getting her. Please, little by little. Got two hours left. <laughs> Give me some time. I'm getting her. No, but if I want to, then I'm going to. Sorry, but that's where, that's where you need to little understand. Little, 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 little. No, but genuinely, but that's what you need to understand. No, you will not. God will frown upon you. You can't do and that. And you. And you. Do you mean and me? It doesn't say in the Bible I can't do that. Read the book. I can do whatever I want. I'm a man. Women can't do those things. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Youth on YouTube. Why is he shouting? The my idea son that a woman screaming. can sleep with as many people as she wants just because she wants to. Yo, my son just started screaming at her and all that. My son scaring the shit out of her. That nigga started screaming. It's disgusting! <laughs> they going crazy. Women can't do those things. It's disgusting. <laughs> I can't believe you're poisoning the youth on YouTube. Why is he shouting? <laughs> the idea that a woman can sleep with as many people as she wants just because she wants to is wrong. It's absolutely wrong. Every man knows it and every woman knows it. Women should not do that. And the whole idea, the whole concept that females can adopt the promiscuity of males, because males have always been promiscuous. Right? But there's actually a lot of men that are like good loyal men, just so you know. Do you think so? Absolutely. Absolutely. I know very good men. Would you, would you deem them high value men? Oh, absolutely. Successful. Everything that I listed earlier, 100%. And they don't cheat, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's possible. Why is it funny? Andrew making it hot. You making it hot, Andrew. And the only kind of people that listen to his kind of his advice are broke men or heartbroken men uh -huh. that are insecure. I think that uh -oh. if a man has options over she a long tight. enough time frame, he's going to eventually probably explore one of them options. Now, I'm not saying he's going to love another woman. I'm saying that a man who, when a man's in love, he only loves one girl. Facts. I agree with that. I believe in love. I believe a man cares about a chick. I believe a man should take care of a woman. I believe you should come home to the same place every day. I believe all those things. However, I think if a man truly has options, truly, that both the man and the woman understand that at some point he's going to explore the options. No, listen, point. If, if I'm with you, do you think I'm going to allow you to explore other options? It's either you're with me or you're not. Go, go be single then. Cool. Like what, but realistically, what, what self-respecting woman is going to sit there and tolerate you I don't cheat. Out. I don't cheat. Okay, I'm a good man. Saying, I don't but cheat. What woman is going to? If you have all these other options, no, no, no. Because I, well, I tell you, what's more powerful, what's more alpha, yeah. and what's more attractive, and what's more high value Correct. is a man that can respect his woman, yeah, love her, not cheat on her, not disregard her, not see I'm himself above her, not see him as you know she's his slave or anything like that. See her as an equal, treat her with respect, and put her on that. That's more powerful. A partnership, two people, not oh, I'm a man that have options. I'm going to explore them. Listen, if you're a cheater, you're a cheater. If you're a loyal person, you're a loyal person. That's it. First things first, men and women are not equal. We'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> Secondly, is that if a woman sees, a, if sees Chris Brown in the club, do you think she's like, wow, he'll be loyal? Fuck no, she doesn't care. Like, at high enough status as a man, women don't even care about loyalty. Women don't even care about loyalty at high enough status. I'm not, and I don't cheat. Okay, Listen, no, I'm a man of God. I go to church. That's a I don't screaming. cheat. I'm talking about in general. Okay, We're but I'm, about what I'm trying to explain to you, though, because maybe your perception of what a high-value woman is is what? Because I'm a high-value woman. I make my own money. I possess all the qualities that I listed earlier. Right. I believe I'm not going to be with a man that's going to cheat. I'm not going to look at a man like Chris Brown and be like, oh, my God, like, he's loyal. It, you, see, you see it as face value. You know he's a cheat. And maybe he'd just be a one-night guy. Cool. Just like you men do it to Would women. you sleep with him for one night? Him. I don't think I would. I hope not, because that would no, not make you a one no, value, I, not no, high value No, this is what I'm woman. saying, because it's like, when you hold yourself in high regard, you don't need to do those things. So the kind of caliber of women that go for men like that and these opportunities don't have that much self-worth because it's what you're going to go with a man that's only deep, like only values you for one night. So it says a lot about the quality of a woman. All right, so, so we so agree so on saying, something. But I'm saying, so when you generalize about women, don't do that because there are many high she value like women who would refuse him. That will not tolerate that. Completely. I'm not saying that. My point is, you completely misunderstand me. I'm saying at a certain point, females aren't even interested in loyalty. 
Do you think people, do you think all the girls with Dan Bilzerian think he's loyal? I'm not saying every girl will go with him. I'm saying there are certain girls at a certain level of male achievement who are not interested in loyalty. But is that attractive? Like, for me personally, that's not attractive to sit there Good. and see a man that thinks it's cool to have loads of women around him, be it. like, oh my god, they're bitches, this is that, I have all this money. That doesn't impress me. That doesn't impress a lot of women. It's about raising a family. It's about unity and stuff. I agree. But everything that you were saying, that it, it's not that. I'm talking about all these celebrities X, Y, Z, at a high enough value, when they have options, they will explore them. That's what I'm saying. And I'm also saying that if a man did decide to explore his options, it would not be as disgusting as if a female decided to explore okay, options. Okay, wouldn't it just be disgusting then? No. It's different if a woman does it. It's different if a woman does it. Everyone watching this knows it's different if a woman cheats. It's different. My son like to, my son like to take control of the whole argument. He starts screaming. He's screaming for no reason. I never noticed that. My son's screaming for no reason right now. Woo, check him out. As if a female decided to explore Okay, options. wouldn't that just be disgusting then? No. It's different if a woman does it. It's different if a woman does it. Everyone watching this knows it's different if a woman cheats. It's different. Honestly, My son be black and son. Views, like, it's so outdated. What kind of relationship do you have with your mother? A good one. A good one. Yeah, it's a bit sad. And what kind of relationship do you have with your mother? That if you find a man who's good with his mom and he's good with girls, that's, that's, that's bullshit. No, no, it was just more because I find that your thoughts towards women are quite disrespectful. You think so? so? Why? This arrogance that you've got. Don't tell me what, I'd actually like to know what I've said that so far. No, I'm just different. saying, it's, it's not directed to say anything. It's like energy speaks volumes, because you're not actually listening to what I'm saying. I'm listening to everything you're saying. I don't think you're listening to what I'm saying. I'm saying women shouldn't sleep with lots of men, and they should fall in love with one man and stay with that man. And if that man takes care of them and ends up across 20 years sleeping with one chick once, you shouldn't leave him. That's all I'm saying. That's all one I'm saying. One chick once. And the point I'm making is completely valid. One chick once is crazy. if a woman sleeps with one man once, that's unacceptable. What, if a man does it, it's, it's acceptable. That's the point I'm making. Do you, do you just want women to be submissive to you? I think in a healthy relationship, there's always a leader, whether it's the man or the woman. It has to be and a leader. I think that That's why niggas relationships, relationships don't work. work. I don't think women should be submissive to an idiot. Yeah. And I don't think women should be submissive to any man they meet. And I don't think women should be submissive when they're not rewarded. Right? If, if a captain is in charge of a ship, he's responsible for the ship, right? Mm -hmm. If he's responsible for the ship, he has authority over the ship. Okay, he, but he, it's a, I'm a woman, I'm not a ship. In a relationship. So, okay, the ship is a relationship. I know exactly what this guy's doing. He's just like talking in riddles. Like none of it actually makes sense if you actually listen to what he's saying. So I think if a man has responsibility and he takes care of the woman and improves her life and makes sure that every single facet of her life, whether spiritual, physical, financial, etc., is taken care of, then he should have some degree of authority. I don't see why a man would take care of a woman and have no authority over her while accepting all of the responsibility that's getting played. Yeah. You're an independent woman. Maybe you make your own money. You want to do all those own things. That's fine. Fantastic. But if, if I had a woman, I would say, look, I like that you do your own things. I like that you do your jobs, but let's keep it part time. I want you to come with me. We got to go here. We got to go there. I'm taking you around the world. You're with me. I'm taking care of you, etc. And I'd expect her to listen to me in return. Why wouldn't she? I'm not going to do anything wrong or bad. But if I were to say, I don't like that dude. Stop talking to him. I'm her man, not that dude. It shouldn't even be a competition. She'd be all right. Cool. Block. Mm. Well, why wouldn't it? Block. Be? Boom. That's it. Like that woman. I don't know about that. This is what I'm saying. It's just a double standard, and it's just like a power struggle. Like it's about balance. Life you know, and this is the thing, like I feel a lot of women could give you that life and be like, you know what, he can have a girlfriend, he can, there's so many people that are into that. I'm not even saying, no, I'm not no, a cheater. No, but I'm saying there's people that are into that. Correct, but, but I'm not a cheater, I don't but, want anyone to think this is about me, I'm talking women, about in general. But do you think women want to sit here and look stupid? Like, I, I might think, you know what, actually, I'm listening to everything you're saying, I'm agreeing and I'm liking it. But then, if you've got me out here looking stupid because you might be in clubs with all these women around you, making me look like a idiot do you think i'm going to tolerate that no when you have men like you have explained it's as if you're trying to prove a point to the world that you're yeah. this great man that has all these options no, and I you're agree. so successful i agree like, it you. doesn't work like i agree that. with you if if there was a man which is not me because i'm a one woman man but if there was a man who decided to have multiple girlfriends his approach certainly wouldn't be sitting down and saying it the way i'm saying it the point i'm trying to make is i think that the idea of a man having a girlfriend who he loves and maybe sometimes stepping out is not nearly as offensive as the idea of a woman having a man she loves and sometimes stepping out. It's a fact though. Bitches you know, I watched emotion, American man. Pie the other week and I thought that would have been the best time to be alive. You know, like 2003. Like you can still call the people you care about if it's a real emergency, but no one's glued to their phone. Yeah. No one's scrolling social media. No one's trying to take an Instagram picture. Everyone's just at the crappy party, enjoying the crappy party. Yeah. Like if you go to Dubai and you look around the bar, 
half the people aren't having fun. They're just purely yeah. trying to get Insta stories so to look like they're having look fun. Like they're having so fun. it's pure like, ha, 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 ha. Okay, so I think that a lot of people now are doing things not because they enjoy them, because other people will think they're having fun and it's more about creating envy as opposed to actually enjoying yourself. Right. If you go on a really fun night out, you don't take your phone. Yeah, yeah. So when I see someone who went on a night out and took 20 stories dancing and laughing and, and having a great time, I know they're bored. Yeah, they're not in the moment. Do you know what I mean? Because if you really have a great night out, you don't take any stories and right. you forget to check your phone. Social media has completely and utterly changed the world. It's changed the way that we function. It's changed the way that we go out. It's changed even the places we go. Social media now runs the world. We live in an attention society and people will do anything for attention because attention is a currency and you can turn attention into money. Jake Paul is not rich because he's a boxer, he's rich because he used the attention he gets and monetized it via boxing. So in the attention economy we now live in, you have to understand that your attention is valuable, especially as a man. And women are out here today trying to extract your attention from you without returning anything. That's what the male-female friendship is. In the old days, men would give attention in return for sex. But nowadays, men just give attention and don't get any sex back. And that's what you have to be very, very careful of. Your attention is extremely valuable. So for all the men out there, if you're following a woman and you have zero chance of f***ing her and she ain't replying to your DMs, stop following her. Gangsta! Like, when's the last time you truly, truly lived in the moment? I, me, I personally lived in the moment a lot. No, no, but that's a good thing, right? That's a beautiful thing. And that's, a, that's actually a, an asset. Like, my brother is very similar to that. But the problem is, if you live very, very much in the moment and you're not on your phone, I feel like, and I can only talk from the masculine perspective, you're not competitive because... As a man, you need to be doing things, talking to people, making money, moving things. So yeah. you have to be on your phone all the time. Really like how you just delivered what you said, but I just find it crazy how we've just sat and said about people need to live in the moment and that. But then, like you've sold courses trying to explain to people how to be like that. I, it's just aspire for this, this, this. I, and I, I understand. Right. I understand what you mean, but unfortunately, and it's an unfortunate reality of the world, is that it's player versus player. Like if you if you go to a video game, if you play Call of Duty, right? There's 20 people in there, and we're all trying to kill each other. And the world is very, very similar financially. I'm not saying we should be out here killing each other, but I'm trying to explain that there's a certain amount of resource and everyone's trying to get it. And I understand your perspective, but your perspective is feminine, as it should be because you're a woman, right? But the masculine imperative and the masculine perspective is you have to understand that life is war. It's a war for the female you want. It's a, com it's a competition. Every, chick's trying, every man's trying to get her. It's a war for the car you want. It's a war for the money you want. It's Gangster. a war for the status. It's a war. war. Man, masculine life is war. If you're a man who doesn't view life as war, you're going to lose. So as a man, you have to wake up and think, okay, everything I want, other men want. I have to outcompete every other man to get it. So how am I going to do that? Am I going to do that by living in the moment, ignoring my phone, having a fun picnic? Do you believe in men's mental health? You are kind of like the problem in society in a sense of Thank you. fast car, women, <laughs> lifestyle. No, but it is. This, this is the problem. It's not my problem. I'm not saying it's your problem directly, but I'm saying this is the problem. Yes, all men probably want to aspire for that, yeah. but do you see the pressure there Completely. is on men? Completely. It is much harder to be a man than be a woman. Okay, so what's your thoughts on men's mental health? I agree. It's much harder to be a man than be a woman, which is basically what you just said. Society's ex expectations of men is much higher than the societal, societal expectations of females. I agree. Much more is expected of us. I agree. It's a harder game. Just like every other video game on Earth, it's a harder game, but if you complete it, you get a higher score. I think that being a top tier male is the best human experience that any human can have. I think that being a female would not compare in any way to being a top level man. Mm. No, but no, 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 reason why. There's experiences, right? Tried. Like women, we can literally carry lives inside of us. I agree with you, and I'm actually glad you chose that experience because that's the most important thing a female can do, and I agree with you, and I understand it's a beautiful thing because there's no society and there's no world without life. I agree with you. However, I think that as a man, you can build an empire. There's conquest as a man. And I think as a female, it's not quite the same. And I'm not saying this in any kind of way that disrespects females. I don't want people to look at this and think I'm disrespecting females. I'm not. I'm saying we have different roles. We do different things. And women give life. Women have a very, very important role, probably the most important role in society. Women are, are beautiful creatures that do something separate that men cannot do. I think a talk to your male is more unique than a beautiful woman. I think that you get to build an empire. I think that you get to be respected and feared in a way that women never are. I understand that that's a very, very unique human experience, right? Most men never, ever get there. The reality of life for most men is absolutely depressing. I completely understand when you talk about male mental so have health. You, so have you suffered from mental health? Fuck no. No. <laughs> absolutely not. Because Fuck I understood no. that as a man, you must build yourself. As a female, so, you can be but born. Like, but did you not, like, we need to stop going into philosophies and just stuff, because I'm actually trying to 
I want to understand you. Okay. Right. So you have you or have you not experienced mental health? No. Zero. Okay. So how do you cope with stress and situations? Express your emotions when you're frustrated or when you're stressed. Good question. And if, if I'm stressed or I'm frustrated, then I understand it's my time to perform. And I agree that society puts huge pressure on men and it's time for men to perform. As a man, you either perform or you don't. It's, there's, no, there's no safety net like there is for females. Females can wake up and say, I don't feel like it. Yeah, but there is for men. No, there is The men who it's say, I can't feel like it, cannot compete with the men who do not say that. And it is player versus player. The Facts. man who goes to the gym every single day, regardless of how he feels, will always beat the man who goes to the gym when he feels like going to the gym. And it's player versus player. And let me tell you something. As much as you want to sit here and disagree with me, it's women who decide who the winner is. You will choose the man who's in fantastic shape. You'll choose the man with all his money right. I like a dad bod, personally. Okay, well, that maybe you're, a, you're an exception because you're an angel. But in general, we're talking in general generalizations because exceptions do not disprove the rule. Females will choose the man who's in fantastic shape. Females will choose the man who's got his money right. Females will choose the man who can fix any problem. Females will choose the man when they can go to him and say everything's can you fix this? And he says yes without yes. being able to. That's who women want. Women decide who the winner is. Women don't want a man when you come to him with your problems and he goes, oh, I'm too stressed today. Tell me tomorrow. No. Women don't want that. Yeah, but women also don't want a dickhead. But having your life in order doesn't <laughs> make you a dickhead. You can have all those things, right. but then there's that fine line where your dickhead. ego gets a bit too much. For example, like dickhead. you could be very successful. You can have good looking women that are attracted to you. You can just have all those qualities, right. but then once you possess that, you then suddenly can go past that line, your ego, then you start to become an arsehole. I agree with you, but I'm not talking about that. I think that's a separate conversation. It's not. I'm just, I'm just saying, no, I agree with everything. That's what I'm saying. Like, for me, I agree with everything you're saying, but what I'm trying to argue is that men get successful, they become even more narcissistic, and they just are not nice people to be around. You're very, very smart. Thank you. You are. But you're doing what most females do, and you're conflating issues. So when you conflate, what you do is you mix two issues together to try and prove your point. No, I'm actually, I've just been asking you personal questions Correct. and every time you give me a philosophy No, it's not it. a philosophy. No, but I'm saying in general, when I'm asking you, I'm trying to get to know you. On a level, how does a woman like me get to know a gentleman like you? Here at this beautiful, nice, civil dinner we're having here with no, with no animosity at all. You asked me about men's mental health. My answer was explaining that as a man, you don't have the luxury. Oops, I don't feel like it. You can do but it. You can, but some, but I'm sorry, I know I keep cutting you, but I'm just like, because this is the part that gets really frustrating for me. Like, men with this mindset that you have, like, I get it. Okay, great. You are alpha. You've achieved it's all these things. It's not about alpha. No, but I'm saying, like, you possess all these. It's great. But you are the problem. You're creating this pressure I'm not on creating men a and problem. society. Like, no, it's so I'm not creating a pressure. But, you, but you, men can actually, successful men can actually be like, oh, okay, I don't actually feel like it today. Like, they actually can I understand. take a break and rest at that point. I wall. understand. My point is that it's player versus player. And if you're a man who's going to constantly give in, to mental health problems or mental health trouble, you're not going to be able to compete with the men who don't. Okay, but can we That's validate it. men that have... Completely! If you have mental health... Issues. So we're not, we can't go play Completely. play. Completely! Validate men that have mental health issues. Absolutely. Okay. Men who have mental health okay. issues, I hope them... I wish them the best in the world. Okay, great. But when they come to me and say, and I get this all the time, Andrew, I have this problem, I'm depressed and I can't go to the gym. I say, no, I disagree. You're depressed because you don't go to the gym. If you go to the gym, you might start to feel better, okay. right? I'm saying you can't sit as a man and afford the luxury of saying, I have a mental health issue today, I'm sad today, I'm stressed today, I'm emotional today, I can't work. Because you will lose against the men who don't do that. And male, the male world is more competitive than you could possibly imagine. And it's the women who pick the winners. So it's, no, okay. I, find it, I find it very interesting that a woman sits here to me and says, no, men are allowed to sit around and do yeah, fuck because, all and no, feel sad. No, and those are the men they ignore no, when they DM. No, 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 those no, are the men they ignore, no, they ignore them all. No, actually, can I just, can I just chime in here? So, no for example, shit. everything you've said, you've possessed, you've proved your point. Right, but as a high value woman, if I respect and love my partner, I'm not putting high value woman. Say, she you know what, you can have a little rest. Like there are women that actually enable men to feel, process that emotion. Agreed. But yeah, so we'll still go back to tomorrow, okay. Agreed. Let's go back to work, work, work. But there are good women out there that don't put that pressure. I feel like your reality on women is warped no, because of a certain caliber no. of women. Yes, it is. I agree, you're right. But you need to, you're missing a very vital point of that story. You're right. But the, as a high value woman, before you say to that man, you can have a day off and you're allowed to be sad today, you will only even get with him. Let me change that. You will only even acknowledge he exists if he's ignored how he feels 99% of the time before that. Because if he was sad most of the time before that, he never would have got to a place where he could attract a woman like you. The man who works in Starbucks, who's sad all the time, you won't reply to him. Ne neither will any other female. So for women to come along and pretend they give a f 
about the fact that most men are basic most men are basically invisible. There is not a female on the planet who's invisible today. You can be a four overweight fat. You'll still go to the club and get attention. 99% of men go to the club and nobody even fucking talks to them. If they try and talk to a girl, they get blanked and ignored and told to. Most men are absolutely not really invisible. This is the truth about masculinity, right? It's very easy for women to sit here and complain about the top 2% of men because I dealt with this guy, he's arrogant, blah, 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 blah. Most men don't even fucking exist. They send 10,000 DMs and never even get read, let alone replied to. So if you just sit here and say, I'll get a G, a big- Niggas, said, niggas don't even get read. Niggas get, yo, bitches don't even read a nigga message. <laughs> Shit, real, they won't even read the message, nigga. The fuck? Bitch won't even read the message. Shit, just, just get, you just said this shit. Thousand DMs and never even get read, let alone replied to. So if you just sit here and say, I'll get a G, a big G, a boss, a millionaire, and let him have a day off, very nice of you. I'm sure you would. But if you got, if a guy who wanted to have days off all the time, he never would have got important enough in the first place to attract a woman like you. And that is the reality. As a man, it's player versus player. It's ultimately competitive. And as a man, you have to outcompete the other men who are prepared to get up and do it anyway. That's how it works. There's no such thing as saying, I'm sad, I need two weeks off. Not as a man if you want to be important. Maybe it's no a chick, such you don't thing. have more foundation on be hot again. Great, not as a man. If you want to be important as a man, you have shit to do. You have duties. This is how it exists, this is how it's always been. My son talking that shit, y'all. You, you can't take two weeks off, nigga. <sighs> nigga, I work every day. Why are you wearing glasses? Sunglasses. Yeah, we're inside. We are inside. Very perspicacious of you. I have bad eyes. Yeah, bad eyes. I have bad eyes because after so many fights in the ring, I had a retina detachment and there's a lot of bright lights here and it makes my eyes very uncomfortable. I don't want to squint on camera, mm -hmm. so I'm wearing sunglasses. So if you want to continue to make fun of my medical condition. Why did I make fun of it? We just tried. I know you just tried. No, no, it's fine. No, no, it's fine. No, it wasn't. It was a genuine question. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just tried to make mock no. me. It's fine. First is men, men's men's mental health, but if you've got a retina detachment, it's fine. No, no, ha, ha, ha. Actually, it's funny I was, now. I, actually, it's I was funny asking now. you because eye contact is important to gauge conversation. Is it? Do you want to look in my know. eyes? Like how we're enjoying, yeah. Let me see, we no. give it a few minutes. It's, you know, etiquette, isn't it? It is, you're right, it's polite. See? You're right, it's polite. Perfect, it's polite. can we do a cheers to the glasses off? Cheers. To detach retinas. That's so look crazy without cheers. these glasses. Are you happy? I think that money buys freedom and freedom buys happiness. I think that the rich people of the world, the number one most intelligent thing they did was convince poor people that money isn't happiness. And I think they did that to prevent revolts. I'm not saying money is the only thing that can make someone happy. Dumb. I'm not saying money alone will make you happy but money is certainly a factor to, to happiness. Yeah. It's kind of, yeah, you agree, right? It's like water, right? Water won't make you happy, but if you have no water after a week, you need water. It's all you think about, right? It's the same deal. You can't go without it. So the rich people always say, money doesn't buy happiness, but do they ever give their money away? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So you give your money away. I have a charity, which I own, which takes yeah. care of street dogs in Romania. So I rescue dogs. That's really lovely. Thank you. See, we're getting along now. Oh, that's really that nice. See, look, it's much better. That's like, right. do charity work, glasses are off. We're getting so I'm actually connecting with a real human. I'm a real human. You look really nice. Yeah, and you smell nice. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah. Dressed up for you, of course. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to see someone make the effort, you know? Where I'm from, in Eastern Europe, I, I always wear a suit because we, we can carry weapons over there. Here in London, it's a little bit different. You have to take security with us. But where I'm from, you have the jacket because you have the strap. It's a different, different game. You so did you walk around with a weapon? No. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Enemies, enemies are watching. Yeah. Listen, I'm ready. Enemies are watching. That, but I'm very security conscious now. And I think that there's a difference between well, fighting and violence. Enemies even though I'm a professional fighter, if you want to be a professional at violence, you need a weapon at some level. Okay. That's my answer. Just imagine, in these scenarios, we are together. Okay. okay. What would you do if I wanted to start an OnlyFans? I don't think there's anything intrinsically wrong with women doing OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. As long as I had influence and control over it. What do you mean? Doing Can a bit of photographer and get the angles, yeah? No, 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 no. I'm not doing any real work, but just like taking all the money. If my chick said, I want to do OnlyFans, I'm like, all right, then cool, go do it. How much you made? 10 grand? All right, give me eight. All right, cool. All right. Why would, what give me woman eight. is going to yeah. give you eight grand? Because my, you're my woman, you're doing OnlyFans. You're selling my product. What the fuck? Your product. Yes, yes. correct. Next question. No. Next question. Next question.
Like, do you own me? Yes. No, no, sorry. Like, your ego is a bit too big. You don't own me. I'm not a product. I'm not an object. Okay, she... Mr. Tate? I'm just answering it. My I product. I'm totally serious. How would I let my chick do OnlyFans and keep all the money? That's disrespectful. What woman is ever going to give you that? Then she better not do OnlyFans. Duh. Duh. Oh, my God. That upset her, didn't it? It upset her to say that <laughs> you're mine, and if you're mine and men want to pay for it, then the money is mine. But that's the basic dynamic of a relationship. Thanks you're mine. Me. So if you want to sell what is mine, that's fine, but I need to get paid. What would you do if I couldn't cook? That's fine. We eat out every day. No problem. <laughs> I, I, I haven't had a home-cooked meal in years anyway. No way. No, I eat out nearly every day, three times a day. Oh my God. They always traveling, always yeah. moving. Even when I'm home, the same restaurants, so. Do you ever want to just settle down? I feel like your life just seems like it's just really fast paced. Do you not want just a nice woman? If she cooks for me, that'd be beautiful, but it's not, it's not a deal breaker. Okay, I like that. What if I earned more money than you? Impossible. Mm, never mind. No, 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 impossible. Literally, really? Literally impossible. Is it impossible? Literally impossible. Numbers don't go that high. Next question. <laughs> it's impossible for her to earn more money than me simply because of her ethos towards life. <laughs> her ethos towards life is about moments and memories. My ethos towards life is about conquest. And those are very, very different things. I completely understand that she enjoys things which are not congruent with trying to conquer Earth. She wants time off. She wants holidays. She wants to enjoy time with friends. She wants to do a bunch of things that don't make money. I want to make money. It's impossible she could ever earn more than me because we have completely different life philosophies. What would you do if I didn't like your lifestyle? What, what aspect of my lifestyle? Maybe it was too flashy for me flying around too much. Maybe I just want you to just slow down this. It's a bit too fast place. I understand. Yeah. And, I, and I would respect the point of view. So what are you doing? I don't think I'd listen. My lifestyle got me to where I am and I, I'm a sovereign individual who lives in the way he believes true. I would listen and I would understand it and I would do my best to accommodate, but I don't think I would change. Okay. If you were to say, look, you can't do this anymore, I'd say, oh, I'm going to do it anyway. Sorry. You know, I'll try and make you feel better about it, but it's going to happen. What if your family didn't like me? That's not a big deal. Not a big deal? Nah. The only, the only person I'm super close with is my brother. Okay. And my brother wouldn't dislike you unless he had a reason, like a genuine reason. And if he disliked you, I'd dislike you, so then the game over anyway. Not because he disliked you, but because we have the same standards of life. There's no way he could dislike you without me disliking you. So it's literally like two of you that have these mad no views. Way. My views are not mad. What have I said so far? Who's what? Who's what have I said so far? Women shouldn't be hoes. Man should have some authority because he should take again. care of his chick. Chicks shouldn't f***ing talk to shouting? a bunch of dudes. Why are you shouting? It's important for the mic. No, it's not because Joe, Joe what they And say. that's it. That's all I've said. And you're, and you're saying I got crazy views. But don't they say like the loudest person in the room is the weakest? Oh, am I weak now? No, but I'm just saying, don't people say mm, that? Like, don't is, people say that? that? Oh, Come on, no, I want to see that. it. Come on. Don't people no, say that? Look, I'm a nice feminine lady. Who like she tried to shoot at my son. She tried to shoot at my son just now. She wants time off, she wants holidays, she wants to enjoy time with friends, she wants to do a bunch of things that don't make money. I want to make money. It's impossible she could ever earn more than me because we have completely different life philosophies. What would you do if I didn't like your lifestyle? What, what aspect of my lifestyle? Maybe it was too flashy for me, flying around too much. Maybe I just want you to just slow down and it's a bit too fast place. I understand. Yeah. And, I, and I would respect the point of view. So what are you doing? I don't think I'd listen. My <laughs> lifestyle got me to where I am and I, I'm a sovereign individual who lives. <laughs> I don't think I'll history. listen. I would listen and I would understand it and I would do my best to accommodate, but I don't think I would change. If you were to say, look, you can't do this anymore, I'd say, oh, I'm going to do it anyway, sorry. You know, I'll try and make you feel better about it, but it's going to happen. What if your family didn't like me? That's not a big deal. Not a big deal? Nah. The only, the only person I'm super close with is my brother. Okay. And my brother wouldn't dislike you unless he had a reason, like a genuine reason. And if he disliked you, I'd dislike you, so then the yeah. game over anyway. Not because he disliked you, but because we have the same standards yeah. of life. There's no way he could dislike you without me disliking you. So it's literally like two of you that have these mad views. My views are not mad. What have I said so Who's far? What, what have I said so far? A... Women shouldn't be hoes. Man should have some authority because he should take care of his chick. Chicks shouldn't f***ing talk to shouting? a bunch of dudes. Why are you shouting? It's important for the mic. No, it's not because Joe, Joe what they And say. that's it. That's all I've said. And you're, and you're saying I got crazy views. But don't they say like the loudest person in the room is the weakest? Oh, am I weak now? No, but I'm just saying, don't people say that. Let's have an like, arm wrestle. I'm not doing an arm wrestle. Come on, let's have an arm wrestle. Come on. No. You look strong. Look, I'm a nice feminine lady you who doesn't like muscles. to do these activities, okay? Or is it if I wanted to invite other them. people into our sex life? Well, obviously, I'm going to ask if it's boys or girls. But even then, even if it was girls, it'd be weird. I think it'd be a bit strange. If I had a girlfriend and she said, I really want you to f this chick, I'd be like, mm, this is not the normal feminine mindset. You must not like me. It would just seem odd to me. Something would be up. 
I re I'm really surprised by that answer. I don't know why. I feel like you'd be the type of person that would want loads of threesomes and stuff and feel like, yes, this lifestyle, I'm the man. Sex in and of itself is boring. Any man who sits and says that sex is great or sex is fun just clearly hasn't had enough sex because sex is boring. Sex is a chore. Sex is like food. You don't really care unless you're really hungry and then you eat and then you don't care again. And it's one of the, yeah, it's one of those things you, you, got, you do every once in a while because it's an urge. But it's not a real big deal. Like, every, every person needs food and every person likes food. Have you ever been in love? Completely. But I'm talking about having sex and making yeah, love. Yeah. Different. No, no, no. If you're in love, you might want sex more often. You might be hungry more often. My, uh, my point is that if you're someone who goes through life and only, only, only talks about and cares about food, it's a bit weird. Same thing with sex. Sex is something that happens, and this happens between people who love each other, and it's a great thing. But it's not the be-all and end-all of life. It's really not that great. I don't think sex is the... I don't think sex is the most stimulating and interesting thing in the world. It doesn't matter who the girl is, it doesn't matter if you love her or not. I don't think it's the greatest, best thing in the world. Any dude who's out here is like, wow, wow, two pairs of tits. <laughs> just hasn't fucked very much. Just, who gives a shit? Do you think you've overachieved so much already? This is why you're kind of like, mm. Jaded? No. I, I, I just think that men who are super, super interested in, in sex or sexual fantasies of these things are men who are semi-deprived. You have a, an abundance of food, you have a fridge full of food all the time, you don't eat all the time. Sometimes you just don't want to. It's always there, right? Yeah. But if you're starving, as soon as food appears, you're all over it. It's the same with sex. Any dude who's like, wow, threesome, okay, uh, uh, I need, I need, I need, it's a guy who's deprived. A guy who has as much as he wants all the time ain't going to be really that interested. Yeah, so you're comparing normal. women to food. Okay. Correct. What would you do if I was going on girls' holidays every other month? I'd have to shut that down. I think it's disrespectful. Did you go on a little Very holiday? disrespectful. Sure, we're not actually going to go there with this bullshit. <laughs> what do you like, mean bullshit? Double standard <laughs> shit. This man has so many double standards. Like, it actually doesn't make sense. I'm, I think he honestly believes, like, his own rubbish. So you, you think that you could go on vacation every other month with your friends? Yo, bitches are so, like... Like, that's, like, come on. What? Only a lame nigga let that girl do that. She flying out every other month, nigga. She flying out with a nigga. Let, let you think it's a girl's trip, nigga. And she going every other month, nigga. It's a nigga on that trip. It's not double standards. Yes, it is. There's different standards. But I'm saying, but if you're out they every month doing this, doing that, Correct. I'm going to do the same no, to keep no, myself no. entertained no, and no, occupied. No. Yes, what, you think I'm going to wait at home for you? Yes. And just yes. wait there and look like an idiot. They'll yes. probably see you up you on like Instagram. Here's this lifestyle to look and see you with loads of women around you. You don't look like an idiot. You. No. you look like a loyal woman. Look As like you a should. loyal woman. There's, there's no way I would allow my, you, there's no way I would allow you to go on all these girls' holidays. That's very disrespectful. I'm a territorial man. That does not mean jealous or insecure. It means I care about you. Anything I care about, I want to protect and love. It doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter how much you love me back. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if no man on earth could talk you into bed. It's not about that. It's about the disrespect. So if it's I, okay for you to disrespect me. It's okay. not disrespectful for me to go on holidays with my, or go work with my boys. What if my holidays are work trips? No, no, right? no, that's impossible. You're not running the world like I am. That's bullshit. How do you know? I know these how things. Do don't lie to me. This is what I'm saying, but you wouldn't. I, don't lie to me. It's absolutely disrespectful for a woman to be with a man and then want to run around with her girls and pretend she's still single. She shouldn't That's even want to. The fact she even asked to go in and of itself is disrespectful. Is I shouldn't have to tell her not to do that. Listen, I'll uh, call, I'll call my girls and go on a girls' holiday just to piss you off, mate. What if I went on a holiday twice a year with the girls? You wouldn't want to. I definitely wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. No, you're with me. You don't want to. You, we, we go on holidays together. We go places together. When I have to go places with just the boys, you stay home. You do not go on girls' holidays. It's disrespectful. I find it disrespectful. It's like a slap in the face. A slap okay. in the because face. Because why would you want to do that if you're with a man you love? You wouldn't want to do that. I shouldn't even have to tell you not to do that. So you're going to have I me do that. I shouldn't even have to tell you not to. Lifestyle. How do you look stupid? But I'm saying, if you're just going to go off and do that. You're lifestyle. obsessed with people thinking you look no, stupid. I'm, yeah. I'm no. obsessed with the double people, standards. No, actually. people will look at you and go, wow, she is a loyal wife but that's for you obeys, and your ego but this is for your it's not about obeying yeah it is she loves her man she doesn't need to go on none of these girls holidays to ibiza run around being a hoe she's over all that shit I think it could just be like women just go on holiday to have fun and, and men will try and sleep with you sorry yes so does it mean the women are correct this, this is what i'm saying you agree need to sleep with this no no agree no, no, agree it's, it's not warped reality because yes, we do. agree yes you do okay. we agree okay. no you're not moving on to the next question no we agree we agree you're right they're gonna try and you're not gonna let them i agree if I walk out to the car park, it doesn't matter how good the locks are on my car. If someone's trying to break into my car, am I going to let them keep trying? No. No. It's disrespectful. It's mine. And no one comes near it because it's mine. No one's going to try and steal it. For me to I'll put it in a place where people are going to try and steal it is nothing less than irresponsible. 
My female is taken care of and has a fantastic life. She does not need to go on holidays to fucking make an awesome, be a hoe on some random okay, table. But some random table because her friend met some dude. Random on table? No. Stay home. Stay home. Yeah, but it's not, but this is like, I feel like My you're amazing. My son be screaming and shit. It's not controlling. It is. To say, to say to, to say, yeah, but the way you just said it, yeah, with that kind of like... Tenacity. Yeah, like, to, for me, it's just, yeah. It's not controlling to say to your okay, woman, okay, if you want a holiday, we'll go... Yeah, the way I said it angered you, yeah. because everything I say is deliberately designed to anger you. It's, you have this power and control issue, and I feel like it's just mad. It's like, not power and control. Holiday, with your, like, girls going on holiday with their friends is not an unreasonable thing. It's a normal thing. Women should be able to do it. In but some relationships. Okay. okay. But in my okay, relationship. Okay, just not in this one. Yeah, okay, correct. Cool. What would you do if we just met, and we've had a one night stand and I've got pregnant? The baby's innocent, right? I'd look after the child. It depends on a lot of scenarios afterwards. I'd make sure the child's financially taken care of. <laughs> if you were prepared to be a loyal woman, I'd make sure you were taken care of. If you're going to start sleeping with other dudes or whatever, then it's your problem. The baby's your problem. It's all your problem. But if you're going to be loyal to me still, then I'd take care of you. But if you're going to start saying, oh, no, I've got a new man now, cool, he can pay the bills, and it's not my problem. <laughs> my son's a scumbag. No, but if you want to start sleeping with other dudes, then it's his problem. What the baby got to do? Accident, right? So you shouldn't be punished in life, and the child's absolutely... Nah, my son's a demon. Tater's a demon, I ain't gonna lie. He's a scumbag. If you're loyal to me, still, then i take care of you. But if you're gonna start saying, oh, no, I got a new man now, cool, he can pay the bills. Like I said, fuck the baby if you start fucking somebody else. That's your responsibility. No, but if you want to start sleeping with other dudes, then it's his problem. It's an accident, right? So you shouldn't be punished in life, and the child's absolutely and utterly innocent. I would take care of you completely. And I'd take care of the child completely. And I'd always want to see the child. But if you were to say now, after, let's say, a year or two years, whatever, I have a new man now, blah, 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 I'm like, all right, cool. Kids with me twice, two days a week, whatever it is. I'll make sure the kid's looked after. But I'm not financing you and another man's lifestyle. I'm not just sending money to your bank at random and just making sure that you and this dude, whoever he is, are going on holiday and whatever, whatever. Yeah. I'll take care of the child. Okay, while, all right, he's spending that. All right, he's talking this shit. shit. And I'll always see the child. But if you have a new man, you have a new man. You ain't my problem anymore. You gotta pay your own rent. No, but I ain't my problem. You still need to cover some sort of responsibility there. It's not, so, not some asking sort. you to pay my whole rent, I'm just saying. Okay, some sort, yeah, but some sort is a, is no, a that, reasonable what balance. You're saying, I agree with what you're saying. But they're gonna come along and say, oh, you're rich, give me 10 yeah. Gs a month, and okay. you're fucking some next dude. The answer is no. But with that no. scenario, how do you know women aren't gonna try and trap you? I'm not a fool. You're not a fool? No. Yeah, good question, all right. Yeah, I do. You don't. Well, uh, Absolutely. Say something. Oh, no, none of that. Don't. My dear, listen, oh, here it's goes. been a long, it's been a long, it's been a long evening and it's been very enjoyable. Let's not start talking about how men and women are different again. You know, you're, you're yes, I'm no, it's fine. We're opposites, okay. It's how it should be. Women are supposed to do certain things that men can't do. <laughs> we're very talented, beautiful creatures. My son don't eat no pussy. It's fine, you can give head, we can't do that. This you is give head, do you give head? I'm not, I don't know who's out here doing this, but it ain't me. Like, I'm sure there's plenty of men out there who will do it. Do you not want to please your woman though? Uh, there's plenty of ways to please a woman without doing that. And that's a big factor. That's a good one, actually. Maybe for you. I think well, that's 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 a, nah, it's quiet for that. Yeah, it can be. Okay, so I, I, don't, I don't think it's... Listen, I already told y'all earlier. Well, holla at me, nigga. Yamming that. Yamming that. What are you talking about? Something that is possible to please a woman without it. Yeah, it can. Yeah, man. So I, I don't, I don't think it's something that is what conducive to a healthy relationship. It's not something I'm very interested in. Fuck Tate talking about. Maybe I'm crazy. Holla at me. I'm crazy. Yes. No. You wouldn't. No. Why? Fuck Why no. the fuck would I? You might have maintained like a good relationship. Yeah, fuck the exes. What is this? These lies. In my fuck head. my ex. a lie. It could be like a good woman. Let's talk about masculine and feminine friendship. I understand why you'd be friends with an ex, because you can gain things, right? You can, you're friends with that man, he might, I don't know, occasionally buy you some dinner, or he might pick you up, or he might help you. Because he's my friend. Yeah, it's because he's your friend, correct. Yeah, you no just, things, just a friend. Yeah, yeah. right, just, yeah, he's just a friend, he'll do some things for you. As a woman, what, friend, what things will you do for him? I'm here, I'm a really good friend, actually. Chat shit on fucking WhatsApp, anything else? <sighs> no, I saw them checking on them. Like, the things that I feel like men need, like we do as women, Men will do real things for you. A female friend won't do shit for you besides try and get attention out of you. That's it. It's a waste of time to have female friends as a man. Complete waste of time. They don't give you anything. Being friends with an ex, I completely understand why she would do it. The man's gonna get horny. The man's gonna wanna message her now and again. The man's gonna wanna bang her now and again. The man might do favors for her X, Y, Z, but she ain't gonna do nothing for him. So any man who is friends with a woman is giving his attention without retrieving and receiving what he wants from a female which is sex, 
So it's a mistake. It's a mistake to make. If you give something away for free, it has no value. My attention has value. I don't give my attention to people who don't give me what I want in return. It's a waste of time. What's you going to give me? Value. Advice? You think I need advice from some ex? <laughs> I need your advice. You're going to do nothing but sit there and go, hey, babe, and send me the old fucking selfie trying to get attention again. I see her as a liability. I see her as something for me to pay money for, for someone to pick up, someone to defend if we randomly get an attack on the street, someone to give a shit about without any exchange. And not, what, what, does she, what does she give me? For exchange? Um, advice? Advice? The fuck? Me? What dude is getting advice from chicks? What dude is getting advice from girls? Any man who sits there and goes, my life ain't going right, let me text some chick. He's a dumbass. He's a dumbass. You should, because you should go to your boys, your team. Look, girls, boys do this weird toxic alpha. It ain't toxic it's, alpha. It really isn't, my dear. It really is. It really no. is. Okay. If, if a man has a serious issue in his life, he can't go to a woman. If a man goes to a woman with his issue, it's not a serious issue. I feel sad my ex left me some dumb shit. No, but right? women can give a They're trying to kill me. I need a gun now. You don't text some chick in your phone. You text your boys because it's only your men who can help you. I'm in Ukraine. The Russians have invaded. I need a way out. Who's got a car? Oh, Cheyenne, Cheyenne's coming. Do 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 do. Peugeot 206. Get fucked. Don't lie to me. <laughs> no, women can't help you. No, okay, and but, women okay, cannot help that's you. That's an extreme situation. That but you life's extreme. This. As a man on the edge, life is extreme, my dear. Life is extreme. Well, yes, life is extreme. That was no. That was yes, don't lie to me. <laughs> it's not about just advice. My point is that when a man and women are a woman are friends, I think the woman extracts a lot from the friendship and she gains a lot of things. And I don't think the man gains things to an equal value. But can I just explain, there's actually a lot of women that don't want anything from men. What do you, why are you, why are you his friend then? Because sometimes there's men that possess amazing qualities and you just want to make them greater. That's what women do. We add value to anything we do. But maybe just the women that you're surrounded by no. probably give no. you that warped perception. No. Because maybe Wrong. they're just shit women. Wrong. But the women that Wrong. I know I mean, are Wrong. good Wrong. women that add value to everyone's life. I mean, no women, women add value completely. I agree. My point is that if you're a man whose life is in order, and many men who many men don't have a life in order, right? If you're a man and your life's not in order. They ain't drink no wine. He been wilding on her the whole shit. They haven't been drinking no wine. Like when she was with Costello, nigga, she was drinking that shit. They was thinking, man, this bitch ain't drink at all fucking with this nigga. This nigga take out all her heels. Order, then maybe you can get advice from a chick, right? Because there's these guys, there's guys like this. There's the guys who need their girlfriend or their chick to tell them to stop playing video games, or they need their chick to say, maybe you should go to the gym, da -da, like a jackass, right? They need mothers. But if you're a G and your life's in order, I think it's right? a what's yeah. if, if you are a G and your life is in order, I'm not saying I am. If your life's in order, everything's going well, you're making your money, you're in good shape, you've got a good network, everything's on track, you did it all before you met some chick, it's all on track. The train is on the track, it's heading towards success. You don't need female advice, right? Most of the time when a man and a woman are friends, the female's extracting attention from the friendship, which I don't blame her for, but females love attention. I don't blame, why wouldn't they, right? They're extracting attention from the friendship. They might get picked up, they might get rides, they might get bought dinner. And on top of that, the man still has certain masculine responsibilities, right? If someone comes up and snatches her purse, he has to run after the dude, risk his life now, risk getting stabbed for some chick who doesn't suck dick, blah, blah. Whereas what does the man get from the woman? Advice, is that it? A woman, can't, a woman can't give the man anything outside of a romantic relationship. Inside of a romantic relationship, she can give him, she can give him love, she can give him care, she can give him protect his spirit, she can add peace to his life. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. that's what we can add. So as, we can a rom add. as a romantic no, partner. Women, women can just do that as a friend. No, no. they can't. Okay. That is a lie. Okay. You lied to me. A woman who is not romantic with the man cannot add genuine peace yes, to that man's can. life. Yes, they Fucking can. Fucking lie. Yes, lie, they lie, can. Lie, lie. Okay. Who are you lying to? Okay, but this is what I'm saying. Lie you just to. Think women are really good for like, just if they're there sexually. It's not about being there sexually. Yeah, it it's is about because if just like you've just a said, woman, a woman's job is to spiritually protect her man. A I mean, man? you can do it with a friend. You can also do that. Listen, I pray for all of my friends. Your perception of women is messed up because maybe it's just the certain women that you know. Stop, so stop trying to pretend I know bad no, women. No, but I'm saying, but that, that's clearly what it is. That's no, clearly what no, it is. No, it's not. Because there's plenty of other good women and this is why for me it's exhausting explaining this to you because there's so many good women. I can't obtain anything I'm interested in from a friendship with a female. Okay. It's no hard feelings to girls. I don't have any female friends, not one. So it's just more because men would want to fuck their friends. Men do want to fuck their friends. Yeah. That, that's a separate... Okay, so that's why. No, no, no. Okay, that's no, what it is really. Then. No, that's a separate argument. 
That's a completely separate argument that we can go into if you want. Yeah. Every single man wants to fuck his female friend because if, a, if all these girls go, he's just my friend. Yeah, put on 20 stones, see if he wants to talk to you. Fuck no. Oh yeah, protect your spirit when you're fat. Oh, you can't do it anymore. You lost your spiritual powers, <laughs> now you're ugly. Isn't that funny? Ooh, how'd that work out? It's bullshit, man. The man's trying to get laid and the chick's enjoying attention. And I'm telling you that as a man, you obtain nothing from a female friendship. You obtain nothing but responsibility without authority. You're gonna sit there and say, I'm her friend, I'm gonna take care of her, I'm gonna hang out with her, I'm gonna take her to the cinema and buy her a ticket and she's gonna go home and f some other dude. Stupid. I'm not saying Stupid. I won't be polite to be, hi, nice to meet you, good to see you, bye. I'm never gonna be like, hey, let's go for dinner. We're just friends. Why? But friend dates is a thing. This is, uh, no, but, no, but this is, no, my but brain. This, no, but this is what I'm saying to you because it, it needs to be normalized because if you no, don't have any female friends, you're just basing all your philosophies on just women that you don't even talk to. Men who pretend to be friends with girls are just trying to get laid because there's nothing else to do with a friendship with a girl but trying, trying to get laid. It's just some beta male bullshit trying to pretend they're getting laid. Okay. If they, well, they, they were G, if friends. they were G, they'd just try, she'd say no, and then move on with their life. Thanks. Okay. Yes, okay, I've got a long list of good male friends. So sure we'll, we'll just agree to disagree on this. Put, okay. on ten, put on 10 stone and text them. Good luck. <laughs> Andrew, what's the um, war room? The war room is an organization I run for individuals who are trying to escape the Matrix. Like, so can women join it? Women love the Matrix. So what's your Matrix? No, the, the Matrix. Explain it, I don't understand. Have you seen the movie? Yeah. So we're living inside of a simulation, right? We're all slaves on some level. And I have an organization which helps people achieve the independence from the systems which are designed to constrain us. So I can join it? No, women love control. Women love control and women love systemization. But so do you. I love control. Yeah. What, 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 what aspects of my life do I enjoy having oh, control? Dear, I love oh, the way I've been analyzing this date. I love okay, it. Analyze it. Yeah, go on. No, it's just I'm this. interested. No, go, I'm, go. Just saying, I'm just saying it's a very power dynamic control thing. I like having sovereignty. I like having control of my own life. I don't like anyone having control over me. And that's what the Matrix does. Whereas fem females, I don't think, have that same mindset towards the world. I don't think women wake up and realize that they live inside of a, a large penal colony and need to find a way to escape. I don't think they do that. Yeah, we do. Do you? Yeah. What enslaves humanity? There's a lot of people that are very conscious to life and situations and stuff, so I feel like it's very small-minded for you to just Mama. think that women can't join your matrix. Well, it's not small-minded because it's mine. So firstly, I'm allowed to do whatever I want. Okay. And secondly, I think that my organization runs best without female participants. And it's not saying that the female in and of herself will be a bad person or an unworthy participant. I just think the organization is better if it's purely male. Okay. For the same reason you don't have women on the front line. Like when it's all men, you focus on the task. When there's a chick around, there's some showing off, there's some trying to impress the chick. There's, it just dilutes the yeah. efficiency. But I feel like you would attract entitled women. Maybe to a degree, but I, I also think that like everything in life, there's balance. I would completely understand a woman who said, I won't date broke men. There's nobody. A woman who would sit here and say, I want X money, I'd already get fucked. So it's a balance, right? I understand why was a gift. I'm a man with no money. They go to me though. would never allow a girl to treat me like a sugar daddy. What is your type, physically? There's all types of people. So what is the most beautiful? Okay, your type. Beautiful, beautiful, is beautiful. Okay, beautiful is beautiful. Blonde is beautiful. Brunette is beautiful. There's hot brunettes. There's hot blondes. I don't have a type. To say that I only like one particular type of woman is small-minded, I don't think any man thinks that way anyway. Maybe we have a preference, but I don't believe in a particular type. Do you believe your own bullshit? I don't think anything I've said to you so far is bullshit. Maybe the shoe thing, that's about it. The rest of it's completely true. Some of your views are very extreme, a bit misogynistic. Are they? And Do you... a little bit of an ego. So if you had a boyfriend, would you have male friends? I would, but it's just, you've just got to know how to have boundaries with friends. I'm not gonna be calling that friend past eight o'clock. If your man said, I'm uncomfortable you having male friends and you love me and we're together forever and we're about to have a child or about to get married, whatever, Stop talking to them all, would you stop? No. What? I believe in compromise, but not that, because now it's a control issue. And day, as long as I make you feel like you're my man, you're my king, and everything else like that, that's not on me if you're insecure that I have male friends. Do you think that's that, a you problem? Do you think that's no, insecurity? That's a you problem. Yes, it is. It's a you problem. I don't think that's insecurity. Okay. It's not insecure then. Territorial, maybe, but not insecurity. See you, Lila. Andrew, how do you think you've done on the day? I think that I've pissed you off at least four times. At least. Yeah. And I think that I could have said everything in a far nicer way. In terms of purely attracting you, I don't think I've done that well. But it's been an interesting conversation. And I think that us both having an interesting conversation. And you've made me think a few times. I hope I've said things that made you think a few times. And I think that's more important than just purely the attraction. So mm -hmm. I've enjoyed myself. Yeah, me too. Me too. She lying. That was hard work. 
We actually agree on everything. I was trying my best to say things in a way that she couldn't allow herself to agree with them, but we actually agree on everything. I think she's smart enough to want a man who's in charge of his life and by extension will be in charge she of She want friends. By extension will be in charge she of She want friends. She don't want no man. Upset, sorry. I don't even know. My mind's a bit... Like, he was just draining, exhausting. Like, men like that, that actually think like that and actually believe what they're <laughs> saying, like, it's mentally exhausting. Uh, there was a point when I wanted to say Sniper out now on all digital platforms. I didn't say that yet. Uh, I wanted to bring that one out and I didn't. But uh, besides yeah, that... Snipe out on all platforms, nigga. No, snipe out! I would not see Andrew again. Do I look like I'm going to see him again? No. Yeah, exactly. I'm a busy man. I'm a busy man. Actually, no, I will. Do you know what? I will see him again because I'm going to prove my point that men need women as friends. How about that? No. I said some things she agrees with and some things that deep down she knows are true, but I send them in a way which were deliberately abrasive and offended her, so I think she's going to give me a six and a half or a seven. Right, so this guy, he's egotistical. He, he a has two. a delusional mindset oh, of women. And he, he gets a, a bit too nice. However, I feel like he did have a good conversation. He is a man that knows what he wants. He get, obviously gets what he wants, so you can't knock it. And he looks nice. So I'm going to give him a six. What? She want to fuck Andrew. She just pissed me off. I should give Andrew a six and give my boy a three. Big Man Ting. Yeah, give my Big Man Ting three. Yeah, I ain't fucking with her. Yeah, I ain't fucking with her. I ain't fucking with her.